delightfully Dorn. This week we are headed somewhere. Okay. I'm not gonna. <laughs> What's up everyone and welcome back to Delightfully Dorn. This week we are headed to Polly's Island. We are actually headed with Megan's family this time. Andrew's not with us, he had to work, so I decided to fill in for him. Um, this will be Peyton's second beach trip, and as you can see, she is super excited for it. Yeah, you're excited. And Meg is at the wheel. Wave to him. Hey guys. <laughs> so we'll see you guys at Polly's Island. Bye. to Litchfield, not Polly's Island. It's right beside each other, so it's basically the same thing. So we are in Litchfield. We have Peyton, the best setup there is. Meg's over there whipping some formula in the kitchen, and we're just ready for a great week, so. All right, it is now time for dinner, and where are we eating, Meg? The Claw House, we're all in lit. Woo! We are so excited, because we're so hungry. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is the Rackster clan. We got Aaron, who's also Aunt E, you know Meg, Greg in the back with Pop with Pepe, and then Carla, who's grandmom. We just had dinner and we are super excited and we are now walking on the pier. What are you doing, Pete? You having fun at the pool? Yeah? How's it going, Meg? Pretty Give us hot. an update. It's pretty hot out here. Yeah, it's about 150 degrees out here. Been and out here for an hour. Peyton's had it. She's had it. And um, the water is like 100 degrees, so what's up with that? So I decided to come and take a stroll on the beach because it's a beautiful day. And I'm just amazed at how pretty the water looks. I mean, look at this. All right, so I decided to take a little walk down to the beach because Megan and her family are hanging out by the pool today because Peyton loves the pool. There's nothing she loves more than the pool. So they're out there and I was like, well, I'm just gonna walk down to the beach, you know see what's going on and I'm just sitting here you know got my little stuff set up there's really no one around me and I started to think people probably think I'm super weird because I'm just sitting here staring off at the ocean like I'm in some music video or like I'm depressed or something and I'm really hoping that nobody comes up and asks me if I'm okay because I'm fine. I just love looking at the ocean. Like it's just so relaxing. Okay, update. So this family beside me is playing pickleball and they hit their ball at me. I picked it up and gave it to them. Ooh, crap. Oh, bye crap. Anyways, I picked up their ball and gave it to them. And they asked me, Are you, did you come here out by yourself? Are you alone? And I kind of panicked. I was like, um, no, my family's coming. They're just taking a little bit longer to get ready. So I figured I'd come down here. So now I'm thinking that hopefully someone comes and sets up beside me sometime soon so I don't look like a weirdo and that I lied. And I'll just act like I'm a part of their family. I mean, what could go wrong? I am not even kidding you. A crab that you would see like like you would eat, just crawled out of this hole, stared at me when I looked at him, ran back in his hole, or her, you know, I can't really tell what their gender is, but if it comes back out, I'm probably gonna just bolt, so yeah, I don't know. Um, on second thought, you know, I think I'm just gonna move on over. You know, give him his space. I mean, I wouldn't want to be crowded either where I'm living, so we're just gonna move. Taking me a nice stroll right on back to where we're staying from the beach. And I was 
listening. I heard something jump in the water and I was like, that was not a frog, what was that? And I look in the water and it's an alligator, yep. So, I'm just gonna be watching where I walk from now on. All right, Meg, what are we doing? We're walking to dinner at the Wicked Tuna. That's basically all we do is eat, but here we are. All right. So excited. Hello everyone. It is pool day number two, and Peyton is super excited. How excited are you? Show me get in the pool. <gasps> he can go and get in the pool. <laughs> She's so excited. All right, everyone. So Peyton just went down for her nap, and she'll probably be asleep for an hour to an hour and a half. So I was like, well, I'm gonna go back out to the beach, and I'm by myself again. I set up pretty much where I was yesterday and um, I haven't had anyone come up to me yet but you know I'm not gonna rule that out because people were still staring at me when they were walking by so I'll keep you updated if something crazy happens I'll try to catch it I, I filled in all the holes around me so no staring crabs today hopefully but you never know what to expect when you're at the beach. I just want to show you guys how far away I am from people because I didn't want them to think I was weird talking to myself while videoing and I have a pretty decent view, not gonna lie. All right, let me just start off by saying that if you're looking to talk to a stranger on the beach or maybe make a couple friends, I highly suggest coming out on the beach by yourself because without a doubt, someone will most likely come up and talk to you. I just had an old couple walk by. They were just strolling along on the beach and they saw my camera and then I was like fidgeting with it and they walk up to me and they're like, honey, would you like for us to take your picture for you? And I was like, <laughs> um, no, it's okay. I just, I take videos with it and they really didn't understand what I was trying to say or I don't think they know what vlogging is. So that was quite awkward, but nice people, very nice people. All right, everyone, our last dinner for our last <laughs> night and where are we eating, Meg? We're eating at my dad's favorite, Bubba's Love Shack. Here we are. Later, Tiff's gonna take you to the bathroom and show you what's in the bathroom. Maybe I am, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. There are goats out here. And like 15 of them, they just live out there. I ain't never seen something so weird. All right, everyone. So I'm not gonna lie. We've gotten ice cream every single night this week and we are not ashamed of it. We are at Painter's Homemade Ice Cream. It's a little bit up north, kind of near Myrtle Beach, and it's delicious. I got cotton candy. What'd you get, Meg? Reese's. How Last was it? Last night, homemade. Go big or go home. Whoa, whoa. Go big or go home. All right, everyone. It is our last day, so of course we decided to spend it shopping. And well, while the outlets don't open until 11, we are here at 1040. About to go get in line because they have a Lululemon here, and we are super excited. All right, All right I would say we did some damage to the outlets and we are roasting because we've been here for almost three hours but it was quite fun and, and we're done. didn't have as much fun so we are headed back home we had a great four days down at Polly's Island with Megan's family and I think Peyton had so much fun this was her second beach trip and she just loves it what you think Peyton do you like it She's currently playing with Megan's cup because she loves to pull on the straw, but we'll see you guys back in Hindo. Bye.